Welcome back to Ship Happens. Yes, and today is beam shelf day. Exciting. It is, but first I've got some cleaning up of planks to do, a bit of painting to do, and then we can yeah. crack on with the beam shelf. So let's get it all prepared. So I was fine when I'm sanding that because of the size of the frames, it's really hard to get the sander in at times. But I love these. These are just off Amazon, but they don't half get like paints and sealants and stuff off. And obviously the smalls, so they get into really little tiny places. So that's sort of my favorite tool at the minute to clean the, the sealant off the wood. Painting your boat time. All right, so while Gemma's getting ready to paint the inside of the hull, we made this piece last time for the starboard side beam shelf, which was our template. So obviously it's not quite going to fit this side because it's the, it's opposite. The angles are going to be the same, but it's opposite. So this one went there like that, which fits nicely. So obviously if you re reverse it, it doesn't fit that way, does it? But the angles are all right, but they're just the wrong way. This angle hub will be right, but we need to come this way on the angle. So let's just do a quick thingy. So we're going to go that way and that way. So let's go and cut this and then we'll see if it fits. So when we cut the last one, I actually marked the, the saw. So I marked it here and here. So we've got our angle that way, so that's 30 degrees. And then we've got our angle that way, which is, don't know what degrees it is, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. So that was cut, no it wasn't. That was cut like, oh my God, stupid angles. Like that. So when the saw come down, that basically cut that way. But what we need to do now is cut it on these rough angles here. So let's figure that out. So it's basically it's just backwards, isn't it? So my lines have to be face down to there. Anyway, this is why we do templates so we can give it a quick, we'll give it a quick cut and we'll go and see if it fits. wrong. <laughs> right, I found a piece of wood a bit longer. So I've got a new piece, I've rough, roughly marked out just to give us our visual line. So that one goes that way and goes that way. So maybe, uh, we'll see. Fingers, yep. Right, that looks more like it, let's go and try it. Right, let's see if she fits. So if you remember, this was the top of our beam shelf, this was the bottom of our beam shelf. So we'll just do it, no really matter where it goes. There you go. So we've got the angle that way, got the angle that way. Bearing in mind, the original was just like that. So, hopefully we are improving on the fact all right, so we're going to cut three of them now. So we're going to have like three piece beam shelf. So we've cut all these three angles. Should we cut four actually, Gem? Just in case you break one. Yeah. Yes. It's a good plan. Right, time to cut the beam shelf. You set your angles. So semi angles. Cool. I've written on them up. So that's got to be like that. So that fits like that, that cuts that way. And then, yeah, 
What can possibly go wrong? <laughs> so, rest on your little tea box, which is cool. So that's what, that's that way, that's that way. Right, cool. So should we get the first one in, then we'll figure out the lengths in case we break yeah. the first one. May as well. Good plan, Batman. Okay. Um, that way, Batman. <laughs> yeah, I'm facing the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> oh, Let's go. <laughs> and then we need to sand the, glow, uh, the paint off. I've got a sander outside. Work, is it? Over the mud. I don't know why I brought this out because he's got to be shortened. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> so I know it's only 20 past 11. Yeah. But that needs a bit longer to dry. So should we have dinner? Yes. Then that'll be dried. The paint yes. will be dry and then we can come back after dinner and fit the boom shelf. Fantastic. I do not need any sort of persuading to go for dinner, so... Right, the paint's dry now, so... Time to get the first section of boom shelf in. We can put this in dry without any glue, epo without any epoxy, because we can do that once it's in place before we put the next layer on. Right. So we're leaving it over long. Then once it's in, then it will get cut back to that, to <laughs> there, won't it? So for some reason I'm a bit nervous, don't know why. <laughs> I keep thinking maybe we should steam these, but then we have to steam them and then we'll have to let them dry. So, how do you do it? Just push and go. <laughs> so basically you can see how much it's got to bend. It's quite a lot. So, let's say what, let's... Um, Okay, I'm in my end. It's in fairy. We're too far forward, but it's got to change its mind, isn't it? Yeah. So then... So if you can go keep that down. Okay, maybe in the middle. So it's on like... It won't go down, it needs to twist back that way because it's hitting the bulkhead thing. But I think that if we wedge that in there for now, get it round and then it'll go down. You control that one. So it won't go down because obviously it needs to... Yeah, I know, yeah. It's just pop back up. How's it going? Okay. Uh, oh, a bit more. Up a bit more. Yeah, like five mil. Up. Down. Up. Down across, yeah. <laughs> Up, down, across. <laughs> Up a bit. Down a bit, across a bit. Okay, so we're just going to whack some tempy bolts now through, which will then eventually get replaced with nails, but it's going to need some shredded bar. Epoxy time.
da auch am Schirken. Schnell hier so von der Hand Yep. You're gonna have everyone go mad in the comments section. Oh, I had two hammers. <laughs> <laughs> so last time Simon hit two hammers together in a video, uh, you all went absolutely crazy. You can't hit two hammers together, they'll explode in your face. Well, we've just proved that it doesn't happen. So. <laughs> Mythbusters actually do. No, 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 hang on. We didn't confirm Yeah, this. no, I did. Did you? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mythbusters actually done a episode on this one, um, and they actually busted that myth. Um, yeah, it's a load of bollocks, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, okay, you you are hitting two similar metals together, and I think the worst that happened on Mythbusters was a little tiny chip. It didn't explode. It's not going to kill us, um, you know. Does that mean you can't hit metal with hammers? You can't hit hammer, you know, a piece of metal with a hammer? Yeah, but what's an anvil made of? It's basically a big hammer, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, we're not dead, so I don't think we need to worry. <laughs> we are not dead yet. So the next one... Is going, it's going to, to there, there yeah. so I don't need to go any no. further on the epoxy. So I need to put epoxy on that one, but we need to cut it down first, yes. don't we? So if we get a tape measure, a slightly overcut. Right, so that's going that way, like that. So I need to glue the bottom that way. Okay, go mix up some thickened epoxy now. So you need to go to you a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so I can just hit the woods directly yeah. on the end yeah. because this is getting cut back, so it doesn't matter if we damage the ends of the nope. piece of wood, does it? Okay, so just um, oh. Okay. Well, just just do it on my car because oh. otherwise it'll ride up, yeah. It's gonna be very right. So looks good for me. Yeah. Do half of one. All right, another half. Another half. Half of half. Half of half. Tiny bit more. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Does yeah, anyone else at home know what half of a hit is or half of a half? Yeah, well, it's communicating because we usually do, you do, we usually do one too many. Because I'm we? so strong. <laughs> cool, it's looking good. So just putting some copper nails through both of them now that they're lined up. Mm. Um, just to keep them no. lined up. Yeah, we don't need them there, just yeah. So yeah, where we put the copper nail, I'll stick a little mark. There is a little mark. So we know there's a copper nail there. <laughs> and we know, well we know there's one down there. Yeah. Can't mark it though, so. Careful, there's a copper nail down there. Right then, it's just the end we need to sort out. Oh, so we're going to shoot one there now. Oh, we're going to stick another, go on, another copper nail. Poxy. So the reason we're doing copper nails is because like there's a, a slight ridge there. So we're basically hold, putting the clamp on it, holding it back, and then nailing it. Aren't we? Yep. Get it all lined up nice and perfect. <sighs> I 
it's literally just started spitting, but not much we can do about it. So I've just covered up the area that we're working with on with some waterproofs. I'm gonna retreat for a minute. Forget the tools. I'll get the cups. Personally, I think we should sheet it all back up. You don't think we just carry on? No. But that's my personal opinion. So we probably don't need to open it all. Okay, so I wanted to actually make a little temporary tent for today, but Simon doesn't think it's worth it because he thinks the weather will pass. So give it five minutes to see what the weather does. Right, so the weather's buggered off that way now. So. I haven't even had time to finish my brew. <laughs> just all of a sudden it's come down. And then all of a sudden the sun come out and just changed. So yeah, there was, wasn't any point putting a big yeah. sheet up and stuff because we would have been sweating in there yeah. now, wouldn't we? So what I think we are going to do though, we're going to make some eyelets behind you on the wheelhouse and I'm going to put like a nice big tea bar sort of shape on the stem and then we'll have this ready to pounce and then we'll yeah no excuses then because we keep going we can't do it today because it's, it's raining yeah. right let's take the sheet off and uh, we'll let, it dry. let it dry a bit <laughs> yeah <coughs> well, it's a bit dodgy as well isn't it like, it is a bit dodgy isn't it because like you don't know where the big holes are <sighs> Not folding this back up nicely, are we? No, just bundle it now. You know, I bought this like years ago, <coughs> this shoot. <coughs> we bought this when we first got the boat, didn't we? Because we were going to cover the decks with it until we realised it was crap. We have got another one as well. One of these? Yeah. 30 quid this one. <gasps> so the epoxy that I mixed up before the rain shower, still fine because I put it in the fridge. So if you keep it cool, it doesn't go off. Is that a straight epoxy? Yeah. Just to pre-wet our wood. Even though the rain's just tried to do that for us. <laughs> Ready? Um, yeah. I'm going to have to get all the tools back out, aren't we? Oh. You know, last year it was like nice weather. Yeah. I just never seemed to get anything done. Isn't it a good job we've done the new roof last year and not this mm -hmm. year? Because we haven't had one decent week this year, have we? No. So we need to wait for all that to dry now. 
So we may as well close it back over and assess making a temporary shelter. So when we are here and it starts raining, we can quickly wax it up and we can continue working. We can't put a shelter up and leave it up all the time because it's just too exposed and the winds will just wreck it. And it'll probably annoy the neighbors and end up with plastic sheets floating down the river, which we don't want. So something that we can just quickly whack up as soon as we see the weather starts to turn. So let's close the deck up and have a look at that. So we're gonna put some fixing points at the front of the boat. So we've got these and then the sheet's got eyelets in it so we can put a bungee through the eyelet and then bungee it onto there so that'll sort of be able to like quick release and quick put on so we're going to put these on the underneath of the roof and see how we go Solid. <laughs> that makes a change for our boat. Oh, what's that? Bop, 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 bop. It's mean business, doesn't it, that yeah. noise? When you hear something coming like that, you know it's like, it's not full of pansies, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what's the thing sticking at the bottom of it? Tell from the bottom. <laughs> uh, it's some sort of like air uh, ambulance in it or something, but you know, it's got some grunt, don't you? Noisy exhaust save lives. Do you remember that? So, what about all these electric cars? Do electric cars <laughs> run people over because the don't, pedestrians don't hear them don't coming? Talk to me about electricity stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, right. That's them too. Okay, so my idea is we've got holes in the sheet. We've got so we can thread that through a hole, and then we right. can just. I've got a red one, so we can wear on the port side. Right, you got a black one for the starboard. I've got a black one for the starboard. I haven't got a green one. So, <laughs> um, well, well, what's it attaching to at the front? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I personally think we make a big sort of T at the front because it'll keep it out, won't it? How big do we need to, or should we just try it now with that little piece on? Come to show you the little piece, look. This, if we're doing it, that's substantial there now. And then this is like... Okay, so do you want to change that for like a longer piece? Yeah, something a bit more substantial. Right. Because I don't mind screwing into this, because we know this is going to get cut shorter, so we can put a fix in the front here. Let me go and find a longer piece of wood then. But if you have it too long, how are you hooking your sheet over it because we can't well i was planning on just sort of drilling holes in it and then putting ropes through it or something and then you could because then because then if you use ropes you can adjust it forwards and backwards or let's just do it and then we'll see okay because i can't <laughs> visualize what you're saying because i can't hang off the boat i don't like hanging over the front anyway so see what he's got in his head that i can't uh, picture What do you think? Come back off there because I'm panicking now this piece of wood's going to tip you off the edge because it's not screwed down. You tip me off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always scared of you falling. So I think if we get the sheet out now and bungee cord it onto the front ones, mm. pull it back and then we'll work out whether it's actually that sad. Okay. Okay. So if I go now, Round here. Yeah. Through there. Through there. Just for now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what?
and then. <laughs> I've always wanted a sailboat. Oh no, no. Oh, sorry. No. I don't know what we're going to do. But is it windy? Not windy, no, not at all. We've got, a, we've got some light breeze. So it's a bit long, but right, it's too long to the eyelets, isn't it? How are we attaching it to yeah, that I'm side? Just <laughs> I think I'd rather get wet. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> <that's me. laughs> so it is not windy today, is it? <laughs> well, there's a light breeze, but <laughs> I'm being dragged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this is going to work! This is a... I think this is a fail! Uh, well, can you imagine when it is proper howling down yeah. here? Let me just sort of feel how windy it is. It's not windy! No. Look, the grass isn't even moving! <laughs> There's like no wind! But should we put this away? Yeah. What we can do is when, when, the, an umbrella? when the rain covers, we're going to just throw this over it, can't we? Over all the tools and stuff. Yeah. But let's put it away. Bad idea. We're not, we're not windy people, are we? <laughs> oh my God. Just Good job of not floating, you know, because we might sail away with this. Yeah. Well, at least we know if we run out of fuel or something, we can just sort of put this up. <laughs> So everybody years ago was saying, what you need to do is put a big tent over it. We kind of half listened to you, but then we realised it wasn't a good idea. No. <laughs> there is a breeze. There is a, is it, there's a gentle breeze, yeah. but this is probably one of the less windiest days we've had all year. So if it's not working today, it's not working on a normal day, is it? Oh well, we tried. So there we go. It's our like first proper failure. Well, we're not really sailboats, are we? So <laughs> we're worth a lot of it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we was being floating when we put that sheet up, our boat was to try to fly away. I genuinely, it's made me think when we're floating one day, when we're out at sea, we should try and get that sheet out and make a sail. <laughs> that sheet's got some, got some talk, like. Yeah, and I said that today mm. is one of the least windiest mm. days we've had down here, mm. so... Making... And if we haven't got that sheet, we could use some of your knickers, couldn't we, or something? Yeah, like? yeah, laundry day. Same size. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that has just shown why we can't put a tent up. Yeah. Because, as I say, it's not even windy outside. Yeah, that'll just get destroyed in seconds. Yeah. So we're just going to have to sort of deal with working around the rain, and but we can use that sheet when because like every time yeah. the rain comes, we have to pull all the tools in. Now we can yeah. just throw that over the top yeah. of the tools, wait for the rain to pass, and carry on. Mm. So there we go. We didn't achieve as much as we wanted to today, no. but that's what happens when you start sailing. Yeah, we start <laughs> messing around with other things. So, but, yeah, who cares? There we go. We always learn. Yes, thank you all so so yeah. much for watching. Thank you. Um, please subscribe. Yeah. Press like and leave us a comment. I love reading your comments. Yeah. I mean, uh, as we stand at the moment, we are 200 subscribers away from getting muddy. Getting muddy. 80,000, we are in the mud. And I'm hoping by the time this comes out, maybe. Uh... Can you just make it on a sunny day? Yeah. Yeah, we can. <laughs> on a nice warm yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> That'd be yeah. great. Because we're going to try and. Obviously, we're not here all the time, but it'd be nice to do it live, wouldn't it? Ooh. It would, if we hit the 80,000. Yeah. Nice to do it live. So. Okie dokie. Right, we're yeah, off. We're off now. Because we're okay. absolutely knackered. But yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. See you next Cheers, week. Bye. 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 Bye.